From Trash to Triumph, Sydney. The plastiki, a boat made of 12,500 plastic bottles and other recycled materials, arrived in Sydney after a four-month journey aimed at highlighting the danger of plastic waste in our oceans. De Rothschild, a young British adventurer and environmentalist, said the idea for the journey came to him after he had read a report about how plastic waste was endangering the world's oceans and killing marine life. The data showed that about 8 million pieces of rubbish entered the seas and oceans every day and that a lot of this plastic piled up in part of the ocean called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. He decided that a good way to draw people's attention to the problem and to prove that plastic waste could be reused was to build a boat from recycled plastic and to travel 8,000 sea miles across the Pacific Ocean. They named the boat Plastiki. The 60-foot, 18-meter catamaran took three years to build. The engineers had to figure out how to use plastic, which is a weak material, to build a strong boat. They came up with the idea to fill the hull on which the catamaran would float with two litre plastic bottles. The bottles were light, but each one also needed to be strong. The solution was to put 12 grams of powdered dry ice in each bottle and seal it. The dry ice formed a gas which filled the bottle and made it rock hard. They built the frame of the boat from recycled plastic shaped into sheets and beams. The glue they used was made from cashew nuts and sugar. Without the weight of the crew and their belongings, the boat weighed around nine tons, more or less the weight of three elephants. The Plastiki left San Francisco on March the 20th, 2010, with a crew of six. The leader, de Rothschild, two skippers, a diver and two photographers to record the trip and take photos of the polluted ocean. During their 128-day journey, the crew lived on a diet of dehydrated and canned food, topped up with vegetables from their small onboard garden. It was an eventful journey, and on the way they fought giant waves, 70 mile an hour winds, temperatures up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 38 degrees Celsius, and torn sails. The Plastiki arrived in Sydney Harbour on the 26th of July, 2010. The triumphant team was welcomed by Geoffrey Bleich, the US ambassador to Australia, who said, the journey of the Plastiki is a journey from trash to triumph. De Rothschild and his team had not only made people aware of the dangers of trash in the ocean, but had also proved that we can find creative solutions to keep our marine life healthy.